good afternoon, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, I'm Chris Esslinger. I'm the Director of Communications, and uh, on behalf of the Grand Prix Association of Long Beach, I'm proud to announce that Acura has uh, signed on to become our new title sponsor at the Grand Prix of Long Beach. So, the 45th Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach is going to take place April 12th through the 14th. So we're really excited about that, and we're excited to have everybody up here with us today, and all of you here also. Um, our new partners have prepared a short video, um, so if you please take a look at the monitors, enjoy. We really like the animated logo at the end of that thing, so uh, we're going to be using that more. So, uh, anyway, um, so joining us here to help us make this announcement, uh, I wanted to introduce our panel up here. Um, first of all, uh, down at the end, um, he's a three time winner here in Long Beach, both in uh, overall and uh, prototypes. Uh, Mr. Ricky Taylor, he's the driver of the number uh, seven Team Penske Acura ARX05. Ricky Taylor. Um, next to Ricky, uh, you might remember uh, he famously won the 1999 Grand Prix of Long Beach as a rookie in Indy cars. Uh, now he's driving the number six Acura Team Penske ARX05, Mr. Juan Pablo Montoya. Next to Juan, he's the Senior Vice President of the Automobile Division of American Honda Motor Company, Incorporated, Henio Arcangeli. Over here, we have Vice President and General Manager of Acura, John Akeda. The Mayor of the City of Long Beach, Dr. Robert Garcia. and President and CEO of the Grand Prix Association of Long Beach, Jim McCallion. I'd also, we have some others here with us uh, today uh, to help us with this announcement, and uh, I'd like them to uh, stand up and, uh, and wave when I call their name. First of all, from the NTT IndyCar Series, he's the driver of the number 15, Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan Honda, Mr. Graham Ray Hall. The President of Honda Performance Development, Art St. Cyr. Art, back there. Uh, council member from Long Beach's second district, Janine Pierce. The uh, Long Beach Assistant City Manager, Tom Modica. And President and CEO of the Long Beach Convention and Visitors Bureau, Steve Goodley. So with all those introductions done, I'd like to bring up Jim McCallion to talk a little bit more about this partnership. Jim. Thank you very much. And on behalf of the, all of us at the Grand Prix Association, let me welcome you to a very exciting day in the history of our company, February 5, 2019. This is the dawn of a new era for the Grand Prix. From this day on, this event will be called the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach. That's Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? There's a nice little ring to it. And uh, I can tell you on behalf of all of our Grand Prix staff, many of them are here today, uh, we're very excited about this new partnership and what it bodes for the, uh, for the future. For the last nine months, we've been out in the marketplace looking to see what was available in terms of entitlements. Keep in mind that for 39 years, we've had the same title sponsor. So we had been in this market for quite some time 
And so it was a real education for us. So we had the opportunity to take a look at various options that were available, whether it was automotive, non-automotive, maybe a combination of all of those elements. But in the end, in the end, we're very delighted to say that we made the ideal choice. That was Acura coming on board as our title sponsor, and we couldn't be more thrilled about it. Acura, who are known for making their premier luxury vehicles that all of you see and are on the roads today. Acura, who are heavily involved in motorsports. Uh, you can see the example here with uh, the Team Penske Acura DPI car. Uh, they also have an NSX GT3 program and many other activities. And also, conveniently, they're located literally right up the street from us in, in Torrance, California. In fact, I suspect that this now becomes your home track, right, in terms of, uh, in terms of operation. And their parent company, Honda, has won more races here than any other mark, 13 over the years. So they are well familiar with this course and the events that, that take place here. So we're very delighted with what Acura brings to this particular partnership. I mentioned before that we hadn't been in the market for 39 years. And I think it would be remiss if we didn't take a moment to thank Toyota and the Southern California Toyota Dealers Association for all they contributed to our success in making this the number one street race in America. And, and on a personal note, uh, having been here from the, from the beginning, uh, I want to say thank you to all the people at Toyota who we worked with over the years. Thank you very much for your support and for helping us to get to this point and enabling us to be the success that we are. But as I mentioned, yeah, well deserved. But as I mentioned before, this is a new day, a new dawn, and the future couldn't be brighter for the Grand Prix here in Long Beach. Two years ago, uh, we sat down with the mayor and, and the staff and looked at renewing our contract here and we will be conducting this race uh, with the extension of that contract through 2023 and hopefully for many more years to come. Um, this last summer, uh, we signed on an extension with the uh, now the NTT IndyCar Series to continue to operate as one of the key uh, headline events here and uh, that will feature their cars and stars and drivers like, like Graham Rahal coming back here on an annual basis for uh, many years to come. And in addition to that, we just concluded an agreement with SMG, uh, the company that's responsible for running this facility and this whole uh, complex here, to continue to operate the event in and around this area through, uh, through the year 2022. And we look forward to, uh, to utilizing all these beautiful facilities. I don't know how many of you have taken a, an advantage of uh, all the modernization that's going on both inside and outside in the fountain and throughout the entire complex, but this is really been a rejuvenation and there are a number of people to thank including the city and city council members and Steve Goodling too has had a significant role in that and Charlie Byrne from uh, uh, from SMG so thank you very much you know when we invite all our guests to come down here every year we're delighted that they get to see all of this beautiful amenities and infrastructure uh, that's available in addition to that there was one piece that was missing out of this uh, complex uh, element that we put together, and that was the title sponsor. And now with today's announcement, we have completed that model, and now we have a tremendous opportunity for us to advance into the future. So I want to take this opportunity to thank Acura and Honda and all the personnel that uh, have been involved in these discussions over these last few months. Thank you very much. We look forward to having a, a great partnership with you guys. Um, I'd also like to thank the city. Uh, you know, They've been hosting us for 44 years, and the infrastructure here and the amenities continue to improve, and we're delighted that we're gonna be able to conduct this race here for, uh, for many years to come. And last of all, let me thank uh, the fans and our sponsors too for their support. You know, Without them, we would never have been able to achieve uh, the success that we have, so thank you very much, and we look forward to having a great partnership with Acura going forward into the future. So, I guess it's official now, right? The 2019 Acura Grand Prix will be coming to the streets of Long Beach on April the 12th through the 14th, and we're looking forward to putting on a great show for everybody. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to invite up NEO.
Al Ghaneri to uh, come up and say a few words for us. Thank you, John. Okay. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. So uh, we're thrilled to be here today in beautiful Long Beach, and even more excited that Acura has joined the Grand Prix of Long Beach as its title sponsor. Today marks a new era for the most iconic street race in America. This year, the Grand Prix celebrates its 45th year in Long Beach. This year also marks a, mi a major milestone for our organization as the 60th anniversary of American Honda as a company born, raised, and thriving right here in Southern California. Our US headquarters is located just down the street here in Tor Torrance, where Acura, our luxury and performance division, was first created. But by being part of the Southern California community is just the tip of the iceberg in describing how this new relationship is such a perfect match. Both of our organizations share a long history and appreciation for motorsports. In many ways, motorsports best represents the challenging spirit of our company. We first competed here on the streets of Long Beach in 1994 during the card era. And we've won here more than any other manufacturer, 13 times, including last year with Alexander Rossi. We're committed to racing in all forms, and we maintain the industry's most extensive motorsports portfolio. We race on two wheels and on four wheels, from MotoGP and Supercross to IndyCar racing and Formula One, as well as Baja Desert, as well as up Pikes Peak. Over the past few years, we've recommitted Acura to performance on and off the track. So this is a wonderful fit for Acura, which has a great legacy of sports car racing dating back to the earliest days of the brand. Now I want to turn the stage over to John Akeda, the Vice President and General Manager of Acura, who will tell you more about Acura as well as the par partnership with the Grand Prix of Long Beach. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, and thank you, Hanio. Now, we've been part of this incredible event as a competitor, and now we're proud to take a larger role as the title sponsor. Can't say enough about how proud we are about doing that. It's personal for me because I grew up in LA, and I've watched this race as a car lover. I, it's, I, I can't believe that we're here, and I'm part of this whole event here. Used to watch true legends like Lauda, Andretti, Zanardi, they all raced here. Alan Sir Jr., I used to cheer him on. He won six times in eight years. They wanted to help bring this rich heritage that Long Beach Grand Prix brings to the next generation. Now, turning to Acura, as Henio said, we've been racing since the very beginning. It's a core part of our DNA. It represents proof point for what we call precision crafted performance. Now, I often say, if you want to be a performance brand, you have to have a supercar. And we see that in the orange vehicle there. And you have to go racing. You see that proof point there. Today, we're proud to check both boxes and to be winning on the track. The number seven Team Penske DPI is here today, fresh from a podium finish at Daytona. And you'll see it again racing in the streets of Long Beach. And we're excited to be joined by the two stars of Acura Team Penske, two-time Indy 500 winner and champion Juan Pablo Montoya, and former IMSA sports car champion Ricky Taylor. Juan knows a thing or two about this race, and he's gone around this track very, very quickly. Uh, he won his rookie year, like, uh, rookie year like we talked about in 1999, but uh, he claimed the first pole for our come back here with the ARX-05 prototype last year. And Ricky also knows the fastest way around these streets, having registered three straight victories here from 2015 to 2017. And I know that you guys and the rest of Team Penske are going to put a hell of a show for us in April. So we're looking forward to that. So in closing, I want to recognize our incredible team of 20 Acura dealers in Southern California uh, we had an opportunity to tell the DAA, the, the association, the ad association, that, that we're coming here. And the excitement and buzz around the dealers is incredible. We are going to be working very hard to help promote this race 
and this city as we get closer to the real race here. And so thanks again, and we look forward to an awesome event here and tremendous ongoing relationship with the city of Long Beach. And now I'd like to return this podium back to Jim. Thank you, John, and right on cue, the sun's shining outside. I think that bodes very well for this partnership as they get started together. You know, I'm often asked the question, why has the Grand Prix been so successful all these years? You know, we're in our, as we say, we're in our 45th year, and a lot of other street races have come, and quite frankly, the majority of them have gone away since we started here back in 1975. And I always tell everybody, you know, it's a, it's a composition of a lot of elements that go into making an event successful. But I think one of the key ingredients that really is important in determining how an event is going to evolve is the venue in which it takes place. And nobody could ask for more of an advantage in that regard than we have here at Long Beach. If you go back and take a look at the pictures of what this, this area looked like, back in 1975, and you see the vast improvements that have been made in the entire areas, not only here in the central uh, downtown area, but also throughout the city. You know, it makes it a wonderful opportunity for us to invite 185,000 of our closest friends here every year to come and enjoy this beautiful setting, the infrastructure, the amenities, and to really have a good time, not just during race weekend, but continually throughout the year to be able to take advantage of what Long Beach has to offer. And that attitude and all of that effort really starts at the top. It starts at the, with the mayor and it runs all the way down to the city council, runs through the CVB and through all of the various city staff members. And it really exemplifies what the city is all about. And I'd like to ask the mayor, uh, Dr. Robert Garcia, to come up and say a few words because he really epitomizes the spirit of development here in the city of Long Beach. Mayor Garcia. Well, uh, good morning, everybody. And it truly is a, a very special day for us here in Long Beach. And this is a very important partnership that we're very excited about. Uh, of course, I want to begin by welcoming Acura to the city of Long Beach. Uh, we could not be more excited uh, to have this new partnership and to really um, bring a new energy and excitement to such an important part of our city, which of course is the Grand Prix that happens every single year. We know that the Grand Prix is also one of the premier events in Southern California within sports in general. There are almost 200,000 people that come over three days to see the beautiful city and enjoy an incredible race. And the economic impact of the race alone is about $30 million and generates about 700,000 in tax revenues every year back into the city. We also have a priceless opportunity to showcase the city, uh, as we all know, on television, uh, which is something that Jim loves uh, very much. Uh, and we really get to showcase the community. Uh, I'm, I'm also excited, I don't know if you're, you've seen, but this is actually the new, the new official logo of the Grand Prix that we have uh, right behind us. Um, and it just feels right. And so for, for us, we know that this partnership uh, with Acura is um, exciting for a lot of reasons. One, it's a high quality company, and it's a company that uh, produces obviously uh, amazing uh, vehicles um, and amazing products. Uh, beyond that, there is a sense of social responsibility also within the company that for us in Long Beach is very important because we know that it's not just about uh, putting on a race, but it's about uh, building a relationship with the community. And um, just like Jim said, uh, and, and the great relationship that we had uh, with Toyota, uh, we know that the relationship with Acura is uh, gonna go even beyond uh, where we were. And we're really excited about uh, the partnership with our schools and with the community um, that this new partnership really brings. I'll, I'll say, um, when Jim called me uh, to tell me that you know, Toyota was, was moving on. Uh, it, it was not the best con you know, phone conversation uh, of, at the time, and because you get, you get a little nervous. Um, and, um, but, but you know, Jim was steadfast in his and his team's ability to bring a top-notch sponsor uh, to be the title sponsor for the race. And he gave me, and I know the team at the city, 
um, just the total confidence that uh, this would go above and beyond what we even expected, and it really has, Jim. So let's give Jim a big round of applause for his amazing work. And I, I will tell you that when I found out that the title sponsor was Acura, I, I was very happy. So I, I, I was very happy, and those of us at the city uh, were ecstatic because you, you just can't get a more high quality, better partner than the one that we have now for our race. And so thank you to Acura, thank you to the, tr the team here uh, at the Grand Prix and the association and all the volunteers and the fans uh, that make this race so special. And we look forward to this one being extra special uh, this year as well. So thank you very much. All right, thank you, Mayor. And with that, uh, we're gonna open up uh, for question and answers. Uh, gentlemen, if you'd pick up the uh, microphones, um, anyone here can answer if anybody's got a question. Robert Morales in the front row. Could you wait, Robert, for a mic to get to you? It's coming your way. Uh, Jim, uh, what separated Acura from some of the other companies that you spoke to? What was the main reason why you went with them? Uh, one, I think, uh, as, as the mayor just stated, the quality of our title sponsor is really important to us, to the sport, to the city, to our other sponsors, and most of all, to our fans. And so as a consequence of that, when you're taking a look at those attributes and how they apply, Acura certainly stands out. The fact that they're involved in the sport is an incentive. It's much easier to talk to people who are engaged in that similar kind of an activity instead of going through the educational process of bringing in a financial institution or somebody like that who really isn't aware of all the idiosyncrasies of, of the sporting uh, regulations. And the other thing I think that was important was we sensed with Acura a real exciting opportunity here, okay? And as I mentioned before, our people are very energized very excited about this opportunity, and I think it's fair to say on behalf of Acura and certainly Honda, we sense the same thing there. So you start to put all those combinations together, and it's a natural fit. And like I say, th this is an ideal partnership. If we could have you know, picked out a name and, and a company and, and uh, projected where we were gonna go in terms of their involvement, we couldn't have done better than what we've done with Acura. I have one more for John, if I may. John, I know that parent company, Honda, already has three races in IndyCar. Um, so I'm wondering, from your end, what made Acura want to be involved in, in something so big? And again, for Honda, it would be a fourth race. Yeah, it's, uh, for us, it's our time. It's, uh, it's the right time. Uh, we've been working to revamp the brand and uh, precision craft the performance. And uh, uh, having a sponsored title sponsorship like this, this race, the most iconic, street course race in America uh, and be here in Long Beach and be a big part of that is just the next step. I mean, we have a supercar. We're racing with Team Penske. Uh, there's a lot of heritage that we're uh, branding with, but to be able to have this opportunity, it's just been an incredible thing that came up. And uh, I'm very thankful that our corporation decided to use us. <laughs> because uh, uh, we feel that uh, we belong here and that uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Yep. All right, thanks, Robert. Any other questions? We got one down here, sir. All right, uh, my question for the representatives from Acura, John. I guess my question would be, what was the deciding factor internally to go with Acura as the title sponsor when it you know, could have been Honda Automotive with more of a broad appeal? What was the sort of I guess switch that was like, this would be better for our luxury brand Acura. Well, I think uh, it just came to, you know, it's once again, the right time. Uh, we have a lot of energy going with the brand right now. Uh, it's, it's a good turn for us. And uh, if you look at what we have, there's a lot of Honda presence. And uh, from a, a business perspective and uh, from a brand perspective as a performance brand, it just, it's just the right venue. It's just the right venue. And, and uh, I'm glad we made the right choice to do so. Back there, Art. Yeah, I, 
as a driver for 20 years of uh, Acura, I couldn't be happier to see them come to our town. But uh, the NSX, of course, has come out this year as a good looking car. Any way of working them into the weekend? I'm sorry. Oh, into the weekend. Obviously, uh, there's going to be a lot of ways to get the NSX into the weekend. Um, uh, from not just from our brand new car perspective, but we have a lot of great followers, uh, a lot of uh, fans around the NSX. We'll be engaging with all the clubs as well as uh, our teams and uh, see what we could do. So right now, um, obviously we want exposures for the car. We want everybody to understand what we're about. And being here is gonna be a great way to expose everything that uh, we have going in terms of performance. We have a great lineup of uh, A-spec vehicles and, and, and others besides the NSX. And so uh, we're looking forward to uh, letting a lot of people know what Acura is about when we come in here in April. Yeah. Any other questions? I, okay, Robert. You, Robert. Oh, sorry. Um, I have two more, if I may. Uh, Mayor Garcia, what did you mean by Acura has social responsibility? Well, I think that um, just, the, I mean, the Honda Corporation, I think, ha has a, a really great record of being involved beyond just its uh, its business. And I think that they, have a, they, they already have a model where they're involved socially within communities. They already have a model of philanthropic work. They have... Uh, uh, numerous programs both within the corporation and externally to uh, to philanthropic work and so that I think that level of um, involvement is very exciting for us at the city because we know that Acura already represents um, a uh, you know the luxury brand of, of Honda and to know that they can come in and continue that philanthropic work uh, that they do already I think is really exciting for us I mean for us uh, getting our school kids involved uh, getting um, the community uh, involved is is part of the race. I think for the race is not just about the weekend and the fans, but it's also I think about the community, and I think that's really important. And we're excited about that partnership. I have one more for Jim. Uh, Jim, is there? Uh, will you guys start to work on getting the celebrity race back? I think we'd well, all like to take, see that. Robert, we're going to take this thing one step at a time here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to bring, you know, we're going to maximize the uh, the, the uh, sponsorship deal we have right now with uh, with Acura and see where it goes. If in the future that comes up for discussion, um, so be it. But l let me just say that there are many other targets that we're looking at in terms of fulfillment and some of the programs we haven't even had a chance to really talk about integrating. For example, the mayor is talking about some of the programs we have with the local STEM uh, institutions here in town what we bring in on the weekend some of the things we do with regard to the community outreach for the lo for the grammar schools so there's a lot of ways in which we can integrate what Acura is doing into some of these programs and vice versa that we can take the Grand Prix to a lot of things that that Acura is being involved in as time goes along if the opportunity presents itself we certainly are experts at putting those races on uh, but that's down the road a ways. Let's fulfill our uh, mission right now, which is to really maximize the relationship between the Grand Prix and Acura. Annie. Congratulations on making this happen for starters. And uh, Jim, now that we've got the announcement done, when does construction start? <laughs> well, actually it starts on the 18th, which is a week later than it used to start because we made a deal with the mayor and the city council and the downtown residents that we would uh, move that installation period back a week. We traditionally have started next Monday. Now we're starting the Monday after that. And But I can guarantee you, Annie, it'll be done in time for April 12th through the 14th, okay? <laughs> Just a real quick one, and pardon me if I missed this. Are, are, are there terms released in terms of the length of the deal and how much this costs or how much is, uh, was spent to get the title sponsorship. Uh, I'll let Jim handle that. Oh, what we will say, and, and it's an important fact, and I, I think it was uh, disclosed earlier, this is a multi-year deal. And quite frankly, that was a key factor in terms of, uh, in terms of our uh, evaluation process, because 
We want partners that will come in and stay. Obviously, our previous partner was here for 44 years. We've had other ones here for 23, 25, one for 30 years. Uh, we, want to come, we want to have partners that come in and not only realize but exceed their objectives in terms of why they're aligning with the Grand Prix and vice versa. So this is a multi-year deal, and other than that, uh, the rest of the terms are confidential. If, if I could just build on that, uh, it is a multi-year agreement, and I think what's important here is how much Acura and also American Honda has been invested in the local community here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is our 60th anniversary of American Honda here in Southern California. So we've been heavily invested here in uh, the California area, not only from a business standpoint, but we have employees that live here in the local area as well as Long Beach. Also, uh, many of us are actually quite active in the Long Beach community, places like the Long Beach Rescue Mission. So American Honda and Acura are very invested here in Southern California, and we very much look forward to making the partnership with the Grand Prix here very, very successful. Uh, one follow-up question for Jim. Uh, can we expect all the same support events from last year to return for this year as well? Yes, actually, they're all back. Uh, we have the same lineup now for about three or four years, and everybody seems to uh, to enjoy the variety that's involved in with the, between drifting and trucks and sports cars and open-wheel cars. So the complement of, uh, of activities here on the weekend were very similar. We'll soon be announcing the concerts that take place out here in the uh, plaza on Friday and uh, Saturday night, and we're working on a couple of new items that we want to include into the uh, into the weekend schedule uh, this year too. All right. Well, I've got one for uh, for Juan and Ricky. Um, <laughs> any any additional pressure on you to win now that this is the uh, Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach? Honestly, I think it's exciting to be here. You know, as you guys said, you know, one here in '99. I actually won in a Honda here in 99, so that was pretty cool. Um, last year we got the pole and, and we didn't get the result we wanted. We, were, we actually, we were really young as a team and you know, figuring out how the strategy worked and everything and, and we caught us a little bit by surprise, but we definitely had the pace to win. So I think coming this year is definitely, it's not more pressure, it's just, you just, uh, honestly every week you wanna win, but this would be an extra special one you know, for them, you know, being the inaugural year here. So we'd, we'd make it nice if the six car can win. Sure. <laughs> Any comment there? Uh, seven car would be nice too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that's what's been great about uh, being at Acura Team Penske is uh, it's really one team and now getting to come, uh, we have our kind of East Coast home race at um, Acura in Mid-Ohio and um, kind of got a West Coast home here at Long Beach. and. Uh, had a great history here and won getting the inaugural poll for the program last year. Uh, we can come in into this year's 2019 um, Grand Prix with some momentum. And yeah, as, uh, as Juan said, the six or the seven car would win winning would be a, a great uh, cherry on top. Uh, and we, we really work as, as one team. And uh, so looking forward to, uh, to a couple months. Great, any other questions? Anybody else? Yep, we got one in the back. Hello, my name is Ellis. I want to ask you if you're still going to host concerts how you do every year. Concerts, like the raw concerts and all those concerts that you would host in past years? Right. Well, we're going to have, we're going to have the Friday night uh, Fiesta Friday concerts again like we have with the Hispanic band here. And then we'll have Saturday the rock and roll concerts. And we've been working on um, a couple of different acts uh, to fulfill both of those, uh, both those evenings. And, we're hoping to have an announcement on it uh, fairly soon, but that's an integral part of our whole entertainment package that we provide. After all, this isn't just a race. This is three days of excitement, fun, and uh, we want to continue in that uh, in that mode uh, as far as the concerts and some of the other aspects that we have uh, employed here over the years. Uh, we want people to come out and enjoy themselves, enjoy what Long Beach has to offer, whether they're race fans or not. Anybody else? No more questions? All right, well, thank you all very much. I just want to let everybody know that uh, everybody up here on stage will be available for one-on-ones afterward. And also, um, we'd like to invite everybody out 
to the uh, Acura Team Penske race car. We're going to do a photo out there with uh, everybody that's up on stage and also Graham, Steve, Tom, uh, Councilmember Pierce, Art uh, St. Cyr. Um, if you could all join us out there as well um, for that photo, we're going to take that right now. Uh, and we're also uh, going to have Ricky fire up that car. So, uh, or they can decide between themselves, whoever's going to do it. So, uh, thank you all very much for joining us. And uh, we're excited. Thank you.